This is part two of our pandemic enchilada casserole. Okay, now, this is the regular meat that you guys do. You like ground beef, you could do pork, you could do uh, turkey or whatever. But this is ground beef, and I added, you know, some, you know, taco seasonings, all onions up in here. I love lots of onions in our family. We love onions. So over here we have, remember we did our tortillas last tutorial in part one. Go check and see that out. But here are the tortillas when they, tortillas, when they finally cool down a little bit, they're still kind of soft. See that? They're not crispy, but they're kind of blanched because we wanted them because they were kind of dried out, right? Now, remember this, you guys. You see all this? When you guys go to like those fast food restaurants and they give you taco sauces and stuff like that, it's a pandemic, everybody, okay? I'm giving granny and giving you game up here, okay? Take these hot sauces, cut the chops here. I did them already so we can just go ahead and sprinkle them onto the tortillas all throughout. And that's how we do this, okay? We're going to work it out, everybody. We're going to feed our babies. We're going to feed our children. We're going to feed our families. This is hard times, okay? Ask for extra hot sauces when you guys go to these restaurants. It's, also, it's okay. You pay for it, you get your extra sauce. You know what I mean? Okay, now, we did that. Now, look at all that sauce on there. All that goodness right up in there, okay? Now, we're going to do part, the next part. We're going to add some of the meat on there. And we're going to spread it on out. Do it all throughout this whole dish here. Okay. Now, sauces going on, taco seasoning, flavors, and all that stuff. Okay? Now, if you don't have any taco seasonings, you know you can make your own. We have a tutorial somewhere on YouTube of how to make our own Mama Soul Kitchen's taco seasonings. Okay? Now, look at that. You see that? How you do that? Now, you see those corners over there? We want to make sure all the corners are filled up with the meat. Okay? We don't want nobody fighting and being mad because there ain't no meat in their bites. Okay? That's one thing we don't want. We're going to fill it up. Now, if you have some Spanish rice, if you have some beans, canned beans, okay, canned refried beans, you guys can add that on there as well. See that? You get creative. You think you're building your own little, you know, casserole here. This time is hard. This is really hard. Really hard. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Now we're going to add the cheese. All right, everybody. We're going to add the cheese after we add some refried beans. Now, uh, this some refried beans are our favorite here. If we can't make them ourselves or buy them at the store or buy them at the restaurant or whatever, these are our favorite. So, I'm going to spread some of these refried beans over here over the meat. And it was a little bit of a minute because my granddaughter's son had to go out and get me some. I forgot to get the refried beans, okay? But anyway, it's all good. Now, this is helps stick to the ribs too, everybody. So, you spread that out there like that. And now, after we spread it around, we're going to add the cheese to this. So we're going to flatten it out. Just like that. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry. All right. Now we got the refried beans spread it on there. And you kind of want to get it in every corner. All right, everybody, so we've done the refried beans layer there. See, I actually added over there to the edges there. Now we're going to add some nice mixed blend of Mexican cheese. That's how we usually do it. I usually do the Fiesta cheese. It has, like, cheddar in it, and it has asago and mozzarella. <laughs> so we are adding in the Mexican Fiesta blend, and it has... Monterey Jack, cheddar, queso, and quesadilla cheese, and acerero cheese. Acerero. All right, now we're going to add that on here. We're going to make sure we spread it on out. Look at that there. Ain't that beautiful, everybody? That's the way we do that. Now we're going to add some chopped onions on top of that. We're layering it, everybody, okay? We're layering. Okay. Now we're going to add in some enchilada sauce next. 